Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're gonna find out can you upgrade your ASUS VivoBook L410M uh, RAM or solid state drive. Also you're gonna see what's going on inside of the laptop. You're gonna see how the battery looks like, how the Wi-Fi card looks like and also how the motherboard looks like. Here we are, there's your back panel. All you have to do now is remove all the screws from the back panel. And once you have screws removed, you can remove the back panel. All I can say now, if you have a bit of nails there, you can use nails. If you don't have them, use something plastic, don't use metal. Although this back panel now comes off easy enough, surprisingly, some of them are really, really stuck, so this is not too bad. You, you have to use a bit of force though, so still be careful. And once the back panel is removed, that's how your laptop looks inside. Huge battery, small motherboard, usual kind of a view for these type of laptops. There's your battery, yeah. I'm gonna leave the battery details in the description. There's your Wi-Fi card. So if you are looking for a new battery for this laptop, it's gonna be easier for you. There's your Wi-Fi card. You can kind of barely see it, but it's there. And the good news about this little laptop is that you can upgrade actually solid state drive on it, which I was surprised. I was, <laughs> I was very surprised that you can do that. And the bad news is you can't upgrade RAM. So if you had four gigs of RAM, you stuck with it. If you had eight gigs of RAM, you're lucky enough. Obviously you paid a bit more. So, okay, I'm gonna upgrade the solid state drive now. And that's what I'm gonna put in. That's 256 gigabyte solid state drive from Toshiba. It's second, ha second hand uh, drive, so that cost me about $30. And it's decent enough for this laptop anyway. And you need a little screw as well, because there is no screw there by default, so you need to, if you don't have one, just look around, maybe you find in some old laptop or... And one thing I recommend you to do before you upgrade your solid state drive, just disconnect your battery maybe. I didn't do it and it worked out fine. It it, it might work, the, work out fine for you as well, but I do recommend still disconnect it. That's it, you have to just tighten that screw. And you can close the back panel again. There you go, I'm happy enough there. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you now the actual specs of the laptop as well. I'm gonna boot it up and you can see yourself, it is working. Now, the size-wise, I'm not sure what what is the most you can put in. Like I had two five, six gigabyte drive, so it may take more, it may not take more. And also the type of the solid state drive, not sure what will actually suit, except this one. This one did work for me. So if you're looking to upgrade, you can buy the same one and you can be sure it's gonna work. Okay. That's how it looks. That's how the palm rest looks like. Okay, I'm gonna boot up uh, and go to BIOS now. And you can see there, I'm gonna show you in a second now, the actual Toshiba R drive is recognized in the BIOS. There you go, 256 gigs. It's working, no problem. And all you have to do, because obviously when you install a new drive, you have to install Windows again. So that's another story, another tutorial, I suppose. Do a bit of YouTubing, you'll find one what suits you. So it's 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 not complicated. Okay, we're booting up now. We're gonna be in Windows in any second now. And still, okay, it's running pretty fast, solid state drive, right? but it doesn't make laptop super fast now. Because you, you are still limited with CPU and and the RAM also, so it's never gonna be the fastest laptop, so but you're gonna have more storage. 256 gigs plus 64 gigs, what was original in it, so it's it's enough.
there we go there's your two drives 256 toshiba and the original one was soldered to motherboard you can't do anything about it it's there you can't take it off you can use it as for extra storage i suppose i'm gonna go to device manager now and show you it is there just click on your disk drives aha there we go the second one there that's the new one i put in so it's all working 100% tested it's a good upgrade more 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 space on your laptop it's actually a nice laptop for the price i mean it's full hd screen nothing special but does the job i suppose for for normal kind of browsing and just normal usage you wouldn't now be editing videos or doing anything like that or gaming hmm, questionable so that's it pretty much hopefully this was now helpful for someone out there if you like the video press the thumbs up button and subscribe and you know what have a good life